It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Carolina Panthers. And it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. And we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Carolina Panthers. Joined by Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and CD, the Panthers come into 2023 with a lot of new faces, most notably, of course, at head coach and a quarterback. But what do you think it would take for them to emerge on top in the NFC South? Better efficiency on offense, partner. I think they continue to beef up the offensive line, add to the playmakers on the perimeter, and run the football with some authority. Pair that with the defense. It's been pretty good for the last few seasons. This team has a chance to take charge in a wide-open NFC South. And meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, one era ends, another begins. This is a team that finished 8-9 last year, missed out on the playoffs at the very end. What needs to happen for the green and gold to be playoff bound once more? Everyone's focusing on how they're starting over on the offensive side of the ball. But to me, they have an accumulation of talent on defense that needs to play like a top 10, top 5 defense in the NFL. Eddie Pinheiro about set to get us going, and we are underway here in Charlotte. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Love going to throw right away. And his first pass is incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Second and 10. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did to pass. Here's Jordan Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he calls back inside for the completion. Boy, left that first defender grasping at air as he winds up getting a full eight yards on that play. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Off the play fake, Love. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. 
That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Now Love. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they like to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And Raheem Blackshear now to return it. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. One of the Panthers' big off-season acquisitions. Here's Miles Sanders. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely looking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. The line of scrimmage, the 28 now, as they come up on second and a couple. They run with a third-year man, Chuba Hubbard, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Open man left side. It's the tight end Trimble. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And we'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Play action this time with Love. Eyes the crossing route and hits Watson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Love going to give this one to Jones. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he'll go down, but not before getting this 
gets inside the 30. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Love's throw finds its target, Dobbs. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and ten. Here's Love. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. On second down, Love once more. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Love now. That quick throw there is incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on I it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Play fake. Here's Love. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they're going to give up a huge play in one of their first tests. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones taking it in from a yard out. And the Packers add six to their lead. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal. But we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here. And they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead grows to 10-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Young to throw it. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. 
Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Young working out of the gun. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Devondre Campbell, nice play to get in there and drop him. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Oh, the return is Reed. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. 38-yard line, second and nine. On the counter, here's Jones. And he's gonna be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're gonna need something more than minimal on this play coming up. It looks like, yes, it is six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. Throwing, love. That is caught, and he's gonna have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense uh, probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. First down, love to pass. That's complete to Dobbs. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 36-yard line. Second down and a yard. They go bootleg. Love. Completes it again to Dobbs. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Love, they go play action now. Jones has it. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. To throw now, here's Love. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. 
If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown Packers. Luke Musgrave taking it in from four yards out. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Now Carlson for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. So an early advantage now to Goodwin. 17 nothing our scores. They kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Young. And Young will slide to the ground safely as he picks up the first down as well. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down in a 21-yard gain. First and ten, it's Sanders. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 17-0, our score after one. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. Here's second and ten. As they've got it as we resume action. Second down, back to Sanders. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on it. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Now Young. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Uh, he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 67 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. 
That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at their 48-yard line. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Love looking to throw it. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. On second down, it's Jones. And he's taken down inside the 30. Give them 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. from the gun they'll try to run it and this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play it'll be second down if this defense wants to stay in this ball game they've got to start ending some drives that helps and they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do and right now with that lead that's run the football so you don't just stack the line of scrimmage you have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield and he'll get this one down to about the 27. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Love. And it's caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. To pass, here's Jordan Love. This is caught. And it's a Packers touchdown. Tucker Kraft, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers continue to pull away here in this first half. Well, down in this part of the field, CD, they love to get him the football. And right there, a little pitch and catch for the score. Yeah, and he's such a weapon when it's that close to the end zone. And they love being able to rely on him to make those kind of catches. Talk about trust, talk about confidence, and he produces. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. 
And he returns this to the 22. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's... Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it, and they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there exactly as you described, an interception. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Following the interception, Love throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. And inside give to Jones. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Packers on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and seven. On play action. Love to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And back out there now to send this one away. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. And onto the field here come the Panthers. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On first down, a running play ends up going backwards as he won't get close to the line of scrimmage. In fact, he's going to lose four yards. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. A throw over the middle taken in. Through the middle of the field. Touchdown, Carolina. Jonathan Mingo, 78 yards. And the Panthers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. 
Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead now down to 20. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Now a hit and a loose football. Now on one of the linebackers has got it. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And quickly out wide, this is Watson. Dances by him. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That's good for 28 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And complete once again to Watson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Well, he's been a busy man in this first half. They've targeted him quite a bit, including both plays here to start this drive. And until that defense starts reacting a little better, they may just keep going back to him. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Now Love. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Romeo Dobbs, his intended receiver, and it's third down. Looking to throw. Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion. And now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. Dillon is in. Touchdown, Packers. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Carl 
Carlson on for the extra point. And that stretches the lead to 27. That time, a six-play drive. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. And right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Second down and six now. Up the middle they go with Sanders. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's gonna be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Young. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. That throw by Young incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw, and he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Young on third down. And that is incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. 
And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there as they were able to connect. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Now a second and 10. Again, it's Love. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hands. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. On third down, here's Jones. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Take it in at the 22. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panther offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Young will set to throw. He's got Mingo. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. To throw, Young. There's Trimble, the tight end. Touchdown, Carolina! Tommy Trimble as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done. And it'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead now down to 20. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34.
About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Love now. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, it was the veteran Aaron Jones who had it going. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So the Panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Third quarter starts with a run by Hubbard. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go round, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. A few moving pieces on that play, because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. If you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their ground, held their spot, and turned it into a nice game. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Looking to throw, Young. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Are you serious, dog? So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. Brought down that time by Quay Walker. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Here's second and five now from the 22. 
An option handoff given to Sanders. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. Third and short yardage, Young. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Young to throw it. That is caught. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Adam Thielen from eight yards out. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Throwing, Love. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trick to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third down, Love being chased out left. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. That's a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. 
A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Devondre Campbell, the one who fought his way in there to make the play. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Young to throw it. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and out will come the offense as they take over. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 16. To pass, here's Jordan Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. On second down, Love once more. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Love with it here, third and short yardage. That's complete to Dobbs. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and they will take over first and 10. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And they'll send the slot in motion left. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. 
Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now Young. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Straight ahead with Hubbard. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards of carry at the moment. Second and seven. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 20-yard line. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. From the red zone now, Young. And this is going to be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Second and ten now, third quarter from Charlotte. Young now. Over the middle, complete into the hands of Trimble. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try to run for it with Sanders. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Hubbard. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Again, it'll be Hubbard. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four yard line. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Young with it, third and goal. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that gets him back within 10. 
So give them three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them, melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. Well, the pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. He was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. And this offense on third down today, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and 14. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. This one swung out here to Jones. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. 37 yards on the punt with no return. Carolina getting set to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 43, here's second and six. Young. Flush to his right. Young into the slide, and he's got a first down. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And we both know there's a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Down to about the 45. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it, 
brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. They'll try to throw down. Young. That one into the hands of Thielen complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 33. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here is Young. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and three. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 55 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Second down and four. Option right, Young. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Bryce Young taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Panthers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So they're down in the red zone. They opt to utilize his legs instead of the arm. It works out pretty well. I like what they were thinking there because in most situations now, defense is accounting for all the other runners on the field and, of course, for pass plays. But the quarterback position, oftentimes it is unaccounted for. Offense coordinator felt it, dialed it right up. Inside the red zone, is this something teams should maybe, depending on the quarterback, do more often? Definitely. If you've got a quarterback who can actually move it with his legs, that's an extra option and an extra weapon for you. I think they should utilize it more often. After the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And able to get this out to the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game. First and 10 here. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. This defense really clamping down. Although they're losing the game still, this second half has been theirs. And they're winning it. I almost equate it to being a boxer. And you, whenever you see a good fight, the guy who is on his toes and doing the punching, that's the guy who's winning. And that's the way they're going at it defensively now. Much more aggressive in their calls, much more aggressive in their pursuit. Pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. Brian Burns picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So they send four guys out wide, keep it back in to protect, but the linebacker still gets to him before there's time to throw. They've got to get some kind of contact on him, slow him down. Otherwise, they'll continue to sit on the quarterback. to approach this third down and 16 yards to go 
Working out of the gun. Love. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Brian Burns drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now is the Packers punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and ten. got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 right at the 50 yard line on the handoff running left is Hubbard he'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards he's definitely tough to get down we just saw it right there but how about what we did see pursuit wrap up and then the big finish with the tackle from a couple of yards beyond midfield here's second and eight Right back to Hubbard. And they get him behind the line. So that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there. And it also brings up third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Dancing to his left. Before getting it inside the 35. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16 yard gain. If they get a game changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now here's Young. There's Trimble, the tight end. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. On the handoff, it's Hubbard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. They'll look to throw on third and goal. have taken a fourth quarter lead. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drives seven plays in length. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Now, after 
after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Brian Burns, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. This has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player, one of the best individual efforts of the season. They'll come up now. This is second and long. Now Love. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Now the two points, that's not totally critical at this point. Still a one-score game, but they do have to give away the football with no guarantees they're going to get it back. Yeah, or at least if they get it back, will they have any time to do anything with it? So they've got to send their defense out there and say, guys, we got to have it right now. Save some time for us. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Fielded just inside the 30. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. And they'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively they'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first now young pass to the sideline and pulled in now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Yeah. 
And they will take a knee here. Second and 11. On the give, this is Hubbard. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Young's going to take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. A big one coming for kicker Eddie Pinheiro. This to perhaps salt this one away. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will make this a nine-point lead. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.